Hello, IT pros. Welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video, we're going to continue where we left off, subnetting based on number of hosts. So this time, we're going to do more examples. So if you want to watch the videos, uh, you're, you can find it in the top right of this screen. Now, let's continue with this example, 205.23.10.0. This is a class C. So for this one, we need the 307 hosts per network. So this is a pretty kind of big uh, network. So we're going to work on that. So uh, this, is, this is something I didn't do the last time. Uh, we're going to, in every example from now on, I'm going to put in this little table that we have here to have some, um, some reminders. So let's continue. The first step is to convert the, the number of hosts to binary. In this case, it's one. Uh, 307 is equal to 111.0.0.11. So those are nine bits. So don't don't panic. I know we only have nine bits in, in each octet, but I'm going to explain this in a few seconds. So let's go to the second step. So find the increment by converting the default subnet mask to binary. So here's where we can check our table. You know, for the default network mask for a class C is 255.255.255.0 or slash 24. So if we convert this to a decimal, we are going to have three, the first three octets are going to be ones and the last one is going to be zeros. Uh, as always, I'm going to underline the network portion and the, and the host portion. If you see the table, class C, we have the network bits, the host bits by default, and we can see they match. We have 24 network bits and eight host bits, as we can see in the example here. So um, we have uh, our two networks, our two networks, our decimal and uh, binary notation. So what am I doing? I'm creating more networks or am I allocating host? Or am I, I am allocating host, of course. So if you remember, we have to reserve nine bits starting from the right to the left. And I have eight zeros here. So what happens? Uh, I run out of space in this octet. Well, there's no problem. I just go to the next octet. So with that, I'm going to have nine bits and the rest is going to become only ones as we have always done it. This is the rule. So don't doesn't matter what you have after the last uh, reserve bit that you convert to zero, everything is going to be one after that. Now, um, the next step is going to be to find the new um, network um, subnet. So in this case, it's not going to be 20, uh, slash 24 anymore. It's going to be 255.255.254.0 or slash 23, because we have 23 ones. Okay, so the next step is to find the increment. The increment is the first one after the reservation, the first bit after the reservation. And in this case, this bit has the value of two. So my increment is going to be two. So the last step is going to be to use the increment to find the network ranges. So I'm going to type the address again, 205.23.10.0. And uh, uh, like we have, like we can see there, the increment is going to be two. So I'm going to type a few examples like four, three or four. So the next one is going to be 12 because uh, the change in the increment is going to, is happening in the third octet, as you can see above. So we have 10, 12, 14, and the last one is going to be, it's not the last one. I mean, we have many other networks, but only for, uh, for understanding, we're going to use four. So these are my, um, uh, the increment, we can see some examples. And this is the network ID. So now we're going to type um, to find out the usable IP address. So it's going to go for the first one from 10.1 to 11.254, the second from 12.1 to 13.254, the, the third one from 14.1 to 15.254, the last one 16.1 to 17.254. So we have all these usable IP address. So this IP address you can assign to any device in the network. So let's do some math as we always do. Two to the power of nine minus two is going to be 512 minus two. That is going to give us 510 usable IP address per network. So in each range, we have four here, for example, we're going to have 510 hosts, usable hosts per network. As you can see 510 is way more than 307, but this is the way um, binary works because it's, uh, it's based on, well, base two. So we cannot have exactly 307. So there is, for this example, this is an interesting case. Um, I'm going to 
right again uh, the four networks that we have found. As I mentioned before, these are usable IP addresses. Uh, as, you, as you remember, we cannot use the first one and the last one. The first one is the network ID and the last one is the broadcast. So what I'm going to, I'm going to do is I'm going to choose anyone. In this, for this example, I'm going to choose number three, or the third one, doesn't make a difference. So I'm going to copy it again. So this is the range we have from 14.1 to 15.254. So let's say we start assigning IP addresses. We have computers, laptops, cell phones, servers, printers, and we go 14.1, 14.3, 14.15. Eventually, we're going to reach to 14.253, 14.254. So what's the next? If we still need to assign, if we still have host, we're going to go to 15.1. But that, that would be the option, right? But no, in this case, we are going to use 14.255 and 15.0. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but you cannot use 2.15 and, and 0 because they are the broadcast and network ID. In this case, it doesn't matter because these IP 14 and 15, 255 and 0 are in the middle of the range. So they are usable, assignable IP addresses that we can use. After that, we can continue assigning that 15.1, 15.2, 15.3, and so on. But um, what I want you to understand is it all depends uh, of the network mask. It all comes down to what your network, network mask is. In this case, for this example, this is more um, a test question that you may find if you are going to Cisco CCNA or the CompTIA Network Plus or any other uh, network related certification. So let's continue to one more example. So this is 199.70.14.0. This is a class C. And we only need nine hosts per network for this example. Let's say you have a small network with a few printers, so you don't need more than this. This is just an example, of course. So we're going to have our table, as always, and we're going to continue with the process. So let's convert ninth host to binary. So nine host in binary is equal to 1001, or four bits. So this is the number of bits we're going to reserve in a few minutes. Uh, now let's go to find the increment by converting the default subnet mask to binary. So the default network mask for a class C, uh, we, we have the table there, it's going to be 255.255.255.0 or slash 24. So we convert this to binary and as the last example, we're going to have the first th three octet, octet um, ones and the last one is going to be zeros. Uh, as always, we're going to underline the network portion and the host portion in both notations, decimal and binary. Well, the next step is going to find our new, um, uh, oh, I, my mistake. What am I doing? Am I creating networks or allocating hosts? Well, we are allocating hosts. So I have to reserve the four bits starting from the right to the left. So the rest is going to become all ones. Doesn't matter what they are or what they were before, they are now ones. And now I can find my new network mask, which is going to be 255.255.255.248, I believe I said an extra 255, or a slash 28. And our increment now is going to be the first bit after the four, the, well, the reservation. In this case, the increment is going to be equal to 16 because of the value of that bit. So the third uh, step is going to be use the increment to find the network ranges. As always, we're going to copy 199, 70.14.0, and our increment is 16. Okay, so. Um, well, um, the change is going to happen in the fourth octet, as we can see, and there is where the change, where we have to make the, the changes. So the first one is going to be 14.0, the second 14.16, the, the third one 14.32, and as always the fourth one 14.48. Uh, we have more, of course, but just for example, we are going to use these four. Now we are going. Well, we have our network ID. And we are going now to find out the usable IP addresses from 14.1 to 14.14 in the first one, from 14.17 to 14.30 in the second one, from 14.33 to 14.46 in the third one, and from 14.49 to 14.62 in the last one. These are the usable IP addresses. We cannot use the first one or the last one because one is for the network ID and the other is for the broadcast. Okay, so uh, after we have found this, we're going to do our usual math. 2 to the power of 4, which are the bits, minus 2, 
is going to be 16 minus 2, which is 14. So these are the number of usable IP addresses that we have per network. As you can see, it's more than 9. As I mentioned before, you don't always get the exact number of um, of hosts that you or well, of usable IPs that you are looking for. In this case, in this case, we, have, we need nine, but we have fourteen. By the way, we cannot do any better than that. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, please leave a like. Any question in the comment section below. And if you stumble with this channel, consider in subscribing to it. The next video is going to be um, submitting based on on network needs, not host. Thank you very much, and I see you in the next one.